Good evening and welcome back to Factory Town. Well, we're going to work on this a little bit more and then uh, we're going to jump around to do some other things um, because I'm not going to do just like I'm not going to do all the farming town. Uh, I'd like to basically we got the the grain being harvested. I then like to go and build the grain processing and then come back in because it kind of links together and I'll show you what I mean. In order to get farming on this town, we need pastures. We need a pasture. So I'm going to put a pasture in. Uh, you may also notice we um, we have some uh, newer houses here, shiny houses here. Uh, I stole them from over here and I put the other ones in here so they, they can level up and that's fine. And that'll be fine. But, um, I haven't done water for them at all, so that's... Yeah. Uh, let's also still another one and put it there so we can balance this out here and do things. Um, do, 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 do. do we have stone? I want to build some wells and things. I've got, I've got, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I actually, actually have a plan. Um, and uh, I know I need wells, so I'm going to upgrade you to get some more stone because um, we're going to put a lot of wells in because of. Um, so yeah. So let me let me show you what to do. We are going to get a pasture or three. We're going to put in pastures here. In fact, what we're going to do is we are going to copy this guy here. Um, something else I want to do as well. Let's copy this and I will paste it there. Um, I want to move this. Um, I want to move this. Um, move it. Uh, oh, damn it. Uh, uh, uh. Select all move. Uh, yoink, there we go. And I want to move it to be level with this one here. So it's the correct spacing. Oh dear. Do, 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 do. Ah, you annoying little one. There. There, thank you. Not lined up with that one. It's one out. It's one out. It's gonna bug me. It's gonna bug me. It doesn't need to be this. I, I don't need this. Um I just I want it there so that I can look at the train track spacing, so that I know the different the, the distance between two, so we can get the track spacing correct. Uh, although we might have to do something with the tracks. Yeah. Anyway, let's look here. Let's look here. So this is the that's the pack crate. Uh, what we're doing. So load, unload, load, unload. We need to rotate this round. Grab these. Rotate 180 degrees. Put it back again. Awesome. So we get rid of the barns. And we put in pastures instead. One, two, three, and four. And these pastures are going to do, I think, beef. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got six. I'm never doing fertilizer. We don't need to do fertilizer because it's a byproduct of loads of things, so we get enough. Plus, fertilizer is only going to be used in the um, farms. So, yeah, we're, ne we're not going to do that. So let's let's, let's do beef. Okay, paste, 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 which means you want to be taking out of here animal feed. And you want to be taking out of here beef. Now, I'm not fussed about... Um, th and you want to take beef out of here to do this well. So we also need to fill with these. Uh, not the whole thing, this one. Um, with animal feed. Uh, that's flour. Close, but no cigar. Uh, no, cheese. Wow. Beef, 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 beef. There you go. Okay, boom. So animal feed will come in, get unpacked, put into here, go into the things, into these pastures, come out of the pastures as beef, and go to here and be repacked, and then the beef will come down and we go to a train station over here. Cool. Okay. Now, this needs wells. This needs wells to run, because it needs water. I'm going to put in lots of wells. This is why I wanted to upgrade the stone, because... Uh, <laughs> still not enough still not enough um but that's okay that's okay we'll get it going so um because uh, i know wells they used 25 ago and uh i remember glancing at the thing and being like i'm only throwing 50 which means i literally have enough to do like two wells so uh, yeah, you're filling now that's nice um let me speed you up i'm not sure how much a single um oh four seems like too much maybe uh, no four. No, no, that is filling. So three. Three workers seems about right for running a single output on it. 
Okay, cool. Right. There we go. And then we'll do... No, no, no. Um, you can put pastures next to water and have them automatically absorb water from the lakes and things. So you can get a pasture, uh, you can put next to this and you see it gains bonuses to things. However, we want to have our train station storage and our packages and things all inside here. And if you put in um, this like here and then put a pasture in, let me show you. Boom. So it still says it's, it's green, it still says it's fine. Let's get anything here. Let's uh, actually seal the entire edge up like this. Um, boom. Still says it's a blue, still says it's also. But if I put it in there uh, and then I pick the recipe of like beef, for instance, um, you'll notice I believe it's getting water. Oh, okay. Ah, it might be it's connected to, um, yeah, um, I remember, I remember this before, I remember this before, I tried doing it with water and things and it was having problems doing stuff and sorting stuff out, and what it boils down to that if you, if I was to build this, I would have to cover the entire water with, uh, scaffolding in order to place the buildings on top of it, and that blocks the access to the water from these guys so they don't get any access to water. So it doesn't work underneath here. It did work there, I suppose it's because it was going underneath it to the other side of it. But um, let me show you what I mean. Let me actually show you what I mean. Let's go um, terrain block, no, terrain block down. Um, boop, 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 like that. Okay. There, is, there is water coming in. So pasture, bump, um, beef, and water, the water, fine. If I was to pave over the entire of this area, like this, it will stop getting water. And we would need to pave over basically the entire area. Well, not pave over, but we need to um, go over the entire area in order to get it. I think it's to do with the center area. If I remove this, um, you still aren't getting it. Oh, you will get water. Okay, so you do access that way. But, but we, need, we would need to basically block the entire thing with the exception of like maybe the one pieces in the corners, but um, in order to get it, so it, it doesn't it doesn't work. I remember trying it before; it didn't work. Um, so I'm just not gonna <clears throat> not gonna have power with it. We'll just do wells. Wells are good. Wells are good. Okay. So you will input uh, our feed here. You will output from this right here. Um, we're gonna go here and go up by two and come out here and then go along here and that's gonna do something I don't want it to do. I don't want it to use these solid blocks. I want it to use the arches so that people can get underneath them. Because I might have wagons or something in here grabbing the fertilizer. Because fertilizer is only used in farms. So it might have wagons grabbing the fertilizer and just dragging it down to the farms and things. Not that it can actually get to the farms. Now I'm looking at it. So not really sure what I'm going to do with fertilizer. But um, I want to have the option. Now a little trick to do that. If I put in a single block here. Um, like this. Um, and then I have the conveyor belt and I drag it out and I go page up, page up to have it. Look, it's the same tile that I started with. If you put a support in and then drag a belt on, um, from, from that support on top rather than letting the belt make the support, it will be whatever support block you chose to put down. So if, for instance, we went and did, um, let's just for giggles do hedge block. Let's do a hedge block, hedge platform. Boop, like that. And then we put a belt on top of the hedge platform and dragged it out and then went page up like that. It will be supported on top of hedge platforms. It works with cheese, it works with stone, it works with anything you want to do. If you put in the support one first, just one one thing first at the correct height, and then drag the belts out from it, and then you can use page up, page up, make them up and down, and do whatever you want to do. They will all be of the type of block that you have done here. I think it also works for the um uppers and downers and things, so. Um, let's do this. Let's grab the metal frame here. Let's go up like that. Dump. Ah, no, it's used normal wedges. I don't know if there are hedge wedges. Are there hedge wedges? There are hedge stairs, but not wedges. No. There's only um, uh, ramp. There's only wooden ramps. There's wood stone. There's a hedge ramp. That's weird. I'm surprised I didn't use the hedge ramp. Ah, because you can't actually put a um, you can't put a a plat. Uh, that, that's why you can't put a um, belt on top of a ramp. Okay. But yeah, so we can do that. Um, so yeah, just remove the first one. Bump, drag that out. Um, hold control to keep it at the same height. 
Boom. There we go. That'll do. Okay. And you're going to go to a train station here, which should be fine. So, uh, there. And then you can come down. Boom. Like that. Awesome. Okay. If we need to go back and forth with train stations, because we we, we've got this gap here, this sort of three or five length here isn't ever going to get used, so we've got this gap to move things around. So, that'll work like that. Okay. Um, that'll be fine. And then the, so the grain will come from here, picked up, we'll go around the station to the processing, we'll become animal feed, we'll come back to here, we'll be dropped off, and animal feed will be here. So let's do that. So what I need to do first, I need to get the rails established, I think, um, down on there. Um, I'm also not too sure about the farming uh, area here. I looked uh, at how many um, crops there are, and there are nine crops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're using four for this one here. Um, there's six pastures, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We have got that side here, one, two, three, four, five, six, in that one there if we wanted to. Oh, we can change this to be farming. Excellent. Um, that means that our grain would now have an 80% chance to get double output. Excellent. Get to level 10, get 100% bonus, which is nice. Um, yeah, so we have four farms here. Um, if we were to use each one of these for a farm, individual farm, that's all the crops. But we could do doubles here. So we could do like... Um, two berry, two cotton, two whatever, and then I don't know what to do on the end on there, cactus, fruit, or whatever. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. But we could do that, and then the pastures only have to be one at a time, because don't forget, pastures can be upgraded um, quite nicely. Farms are reliant on the time it takes for the crop to grow. So you can make the farm be as fast as you like. If there's no crops around it to grow, it's not going to have any anything to grow. So you need to kind of you need more space for the farms than you do for the pastures. So, yeah. Okay, so. Train tracks. Train track, train track, train track. Let's get rid of all these. Oop. And let's see how far are we between these two. Bum, ba, bum. That is 43. That would be 22. Would that be center? So that's 21. And that's right. Yeah, that's center. Okay. So that means we're going to have train tracks there. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there. So we want eight train tracks. Oh, no. Go away. Boom. Boom. There you go. So we have eight train tracks. Okay. I'm not sure that's going to be enough space. We'll have to figure it out. I'll figure it out. Let's, let's see. Let's see. So... Let's do this here. Um, also, do we have... Um, didn't I tell you to make iron? I did tell you to make iron wheels. You, uh, there's no... Why is there no... The, the, um, the coal yard, the coal has run out and I haven't attached it to the underground stuff at all. Um... Let's do that. There you go. So now you can access the underground coal um, because I didn't think of that whatsoever. Okay, so th that's the reason the, the fuel ran out. So we ran out of um, uh, iron plates. That's... Okay. I want to run you again um, and I want to change this guy to be uh, filtered to be iron wheels and then I want to clear all the filters. So none, none, none and none. Okay, and then as we use metal rails up it will just it will just become an iron wheel place because we're going to need lots of iron wheels because we're going to need lots of trains. And we are potentially going to need parking for eight trains because we have eight towns. And each town is going to have one train for whatever type of goods it needs. So all eight towns are not going to ever ask for grain. I know that. In fact, I don't think all eight towns will ever ask for a single one of anything. Like leather is in demand in many places. Um, but I need to build parking for eight trains just to make sure it works. Okay. And I also need to look at this. So um, farming has a speciality of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen, seventeen goods. So 
17 goods. We need 17 stations. Wow. Um, <laughs> wasn't expecting that. We need 17 stations. Um... Oh god, what do the other ones want? Uh like produce, what's what's that? Wow, processing wants again a lot of stuff for copper. Can I can I narrow that down to 17? What's that? There? 8, 16, 24, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 29 there. So we can get rid of one bread, one piece of wool. We can get rid of two of the animal feeds. I need to. I. I, I need to go. Over, I, I will do that off camera. I will go over each and every one of the different things and what they produce and where they produce it, and we'll try and spread them out because. Because I'm, I'm, I'm looking at that. So 17, 17 stations here. Uh, this is 101 across, I believe. Uh, go from there to there. It is 101 across. So 103 we have, because potentially this could sit on that line there. Um, so it's 103, because there's an extra one there. So 103. 103 divided by 17. is 6.05 so basically we need to have six and a bit tiles for each one so if i went six tiles it probably means the end one would be out by like one i mean that that's fine that's fine so if we started here and went out oh well, and, and yeah so maybe we'll start on the end and go in um Uh, I don't think I have enough resources to build the um, things because I because I, I stopped doing the wood, the uh, the wooden plank thing. Uh, where are we storing wooden planks? We're we storing wooden planks anywhere, anywhere at all. Uh, oh God, we gotta be, we gotta be. We got two hundred of them. That's a standard barn. Two hundred is a normal barn size. Uh, unless we got two hundred in here, we have not got two hundred in here. And that's a two hundred is a is, a, is an up, a singly upgraded barn. Um, here this is a single one so let's upgrade this barn all the way um so that's going to store a thousand because we're going to need them to build loads of stations um so yeah so that gives us six six between each one okay which is that and then the next one has to go there so the train has to come in here and go out there and the next train comes in here and goes out there no Okay. And in here, we have parking for eight trains. Um, I think I'm going to go three carriages long rather than four. Um, yeah, I think. I think that's what we're going to do. I mean, potentially some towns might have multiple trains. If, if they have a high demand, they might have multiple trains. But as I said, I don't think every town is going to need grain. So we're definitely not going to have eight trains for grain. Processing is going to need grain, um, and uh, processing is going to need grain, yeah. Um, so, yep, yeah. and I'm hoping I can figure out, like, the inputs for um, animal feed. I'm hoping we can have, like, one train input for animal feed that's going to feed all our pastures. But if I do that, we're going to need more than one train doing animal feed because the, the supply and demand. So, yeah. Um, but we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. Um so if I want to do this here, we're going to need parking in here. So uh, the zigzag parking is the best way I know of doing it. Um, so like this. So the trains come down. Go there and then come up and go back there. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. Um, so, and we need, so if I um, shut down that, because I don't want you to actually pick anything up, and if I destroy that end one, um, I 
train will stop here now and that's where a train would normally park we need to get eight trains in there um with with three i mean i think i went four carriages with the last ones um let's um pause the game moment because trains drive automatically they they have they have auto go and we want to add mine cuts oh we haven't unlocked um the uh rate ferro cars let's unlock rate ferro cars cool um and then we go into here and we can add box cars or tank cars or hopper cars it's all going to be box cars because we're dealing with boxed items so it's all going to be that okay um, and then if i copy you and put you there you can also just copy the car itself and just add it to the train like that so that's that's not difficult so three four Five. I'll pause. You will catch up with um, Six. Okay. Um, right. So if I tell you to go. Ah, oh, don't. <laughs> Move the train to the end of the track. When you pick the locomotives up, it picks up the whole the whole thing. Um, so let's do this. So it forces you to go down there. Okay. Yeah, when you pick a locomotive up, it will pick up all the carriages behind it. And if you put a locomotive on the rails and the carriage is not on the rails, it doesn't matter. They will just follow the train till it gets there. Oh, that's six trains. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need eight. This is not going to fit. This is not going to fit. How do we do that? How do we do that? Because um, I need to space this side for loading this and i know there's not going to be a town here the town's actually here physically so um but we need hold on hold on do we load that train uh do no we don't no this is our map so this is the town we're working on right now so this loads this side these don't these load so the track will come in go up the center but you won't load this side you load at the bottom and unload at the top Although I've got, yeah, load of, yeah. Okay. So I don't need that there. That can actually be moved over closer to this, this town here. So the uh, rail can become larger. The loop can become larger. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. So if we was to get rid of this rail here. And then get rid of those for the moment. We know that's still set a point there. Um, how much would we need to get uh, eight trains in there? Uh, that'd be the next train, yeah. So they use one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, one, two. So they use one, two, three, four, five, seven. They use eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would stop there. Okay, that would be eight trains. Can I build eight trains? Can we get a... Uh, set you park up. Boop, and then uh, one, two, three. And then we do the last one. One, we don't have enough iron wheels. Oh, you're still not getting enough. Uh, yeah, because this is now filling up everything here. So it's still got a rebuffer. Okay, um, but that, that'll work. That'll That'll work. Because that'll be eight trains, wouldn't it? So we go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. So, because it's eight with the train. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it stops there. So we can get rid of this bit of track. And then have it join there. And then it can come back up join there. I'm not a big fan of having it join and uh, like leave and join right next to each other because it it's awkward when you're putting in the um uh, the logic block it, it works fine but it's just awkward visually um so that's better because then a train stops there and that leaves that okay so then that will be there bump 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 one two three four five six so we just moved that over by two that's not too bad there's still a gap here so we could move it over more if we wanted to but that's that's fine um okay so how do we do about getting trains on and off of this doing things there so well we'll do this here like this here uh train tracks work the same as shoots 
so um, you see here um, the train that comes down this track can only go straight on or make a right this turn that way it makes life easier make a right turn it can't do a left turn because there is no this track does not turn right to here it only turns left see it's only got this little piece here turns left so we can go straight on or turn left and what we'll do is we will then put in pushers um which i really should have also put on my action button here um here and they used to be filtered for different things you can signal them you can actually name trains and stuff um so you can signal them and do that or you can have filters and i i don't know if it's an and or it's an or system um uh, i'm not i'm not entirely sure on that so um if i put like a pusher here and i filter this to let's say beef okay so this is the raw beef one so you'll come no it's not raw beef this is this is the uh grain grain okay Boom. and this one will signal with um uh i'll put a one in here that you put anything you want in here it is case sensitive so if you use a capital letter in your names you have to to do that so so if, let's, let's do one and then here let's do two with capital letters but don't like that oh don't push enter okay. you can separate the signals by using commas i th think if i remember correctly i'm pretty sure it's commas um so yeah uh, so we'll then filter this train to be uh he will be a grain train and he will be one don't don't push enter tick because it, it counts you can if I push enter and tick it you see it becomes bigger so it's it's uh, one with an enter is a different tag to just one without an enter so the next train we go two tick and put you as grain as well okay right um and then i will uh do this and the first one should turn yep he does oh. the second one turned the rest of them won't because they have no filter they, they have they have no idea what to do so um uh yeah so we can name things we can just use naming tags which works pretty well um, and then if we was to put these on the track back here so let's uh do, 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 do uh, and pause this um and i put like you back there we put you back there and we'll grab uh this train and put him back there okay. bum, bum, bum. it's grain so it tags grain comes down here do, 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 do. this one carries on because he's got no nothing at all however if i was to tag this with say three which does not match this one here it doesn't matter it will drive straight through it anyway bum, bum. if i used a sorter here however it would stop the trains from driving through they would just stop and get hit so we don't want to sort them we want to push them to the correct track it does mean we're going to have um if anything goes wrong with the system the outside line will have tracks we don't want maybe we'll put another train another line in um for tracks that we're not we're not you know so it's um so it's there so um but if i was to do this and then do three tick um and then we filter you you're the grain train and you belong to town three Oop. you will come down here you'll turn down for grain that's fine but on um, and then you are let's just for instance say you're the cotton train but you're also for to the town let's say two for this one okay you should not be on the second one. you should be on this this rail here you shouldn't be on the first rail okay you should be on this rail because you're town two and this is town two's rail so we'll come down there we'll grab this filter um, and put it here um in fact you know what let's let's actually test this so uh, where was number two you're number two aren't you yeah so that's fine so bum, bum, bum. here we go bump you go through there that's absolutely fine we'll move you back to here let's test this out you've got three two has come down onto here um like this but i haven't filtered the carts it doesn't matter um the train has a filter because i've filtered the whole train so the carts have a filter um on the train filter the carts themselves can have independent filters so you could actually filter the train with grain uh beef cotton 
and then have this one be grain, this one be cotton, this one be, and it, and it will do that. That's fine. The loading rules are a little interesting when it comes to that um, because there is a hold until full, which basically means the train will come here and sit here until the thing is full. The problem to that is if you have trains with multiple things inside them, um, it's looking to be full. And if this station doesn't provide, say, say I did this with grain and um, beef, because this only provides grain, it will still hold it because the beef cart's empty. So you have to do some other fancy logic with it to get it working. Um, I normally don't do hold until full. I do timed holds. We will get into that. Not this episode. I've already gone over. It's gone the past half an hour mark. But you see, this one comes down here. Boom, boom, boom. We'll go back up here and return to track two. So that's how we're going to do our systems. So this is track town one, which is technically this town. Um, this is track two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The trains will be tagged with their town and they'll be filtered with the item they want to pick up. So they'll be on their track, they'll come here and they'll do that and they can do it. So all the track trains from train two would always be on train two two's track and they will just leave, pick up and rejoin their track. Very simple system, not overly complicated. I also don't have to use any custom um, uh, filters and things for it. Uh, in the previous playthrough, you'll notice I, I use north, south, east, west uh, markers. I have my own custom filters for things. We don't need to do that because of the tags. Now, what I want to test is I believe it's a comma and you can multi-tag things. Let me test that because I haven't actually done this. So, uh, train three, oh, doesn't matter, but train three, uh, oh, we need to do this as well. Uh, copy, uh, copy, control and click to paste it. So pick up this train, put it here. You will push down there because you are green you'll pick up the grain if you could but obviously it's turned off right now now this is one comma three i don't know whether the tags can actually be separated with commas or not i can't remember no they can't okay so that is now signal one comma three so you can only put one signal tag in there i think that's why i used my system that had multiple things because you can add multiple filters to a pusher so you could filter this to say be i don't know um, uh, also add uh, add add a, a earth filter. Okay. Um, if we change this back to only be one, boom, and then we did this here. You'll come up. You won't go there because you don't match the filters. So you see what I mean? It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't add up. It doesn't figure that out. So what we need to do is either use the tags or the filters, not both because they work independently of each other so so yeah so um if you use custom filters you can do things because you can go like okay so this is um this is the northwest train which is what i did before i added custom item filters um and i had uh, so i had so i did that and uh and that so it was both of them so the train would come going i'm a northwest train and i've got this on me so i go down this track and so on and so forth but we're gonna do an easier way this time which is probably simpler than the way i should have done it the way i should have done it in the first place um so yeah, we're just gonna do that. We're gonna do items are the trains are tagged with their town and they are filtered with the item. When they're joining a town, they're simply looking for a filter. When they're rejoining the tracks, they're looking for the tag. So that'll work. That'll work. And that's eight track, eight towns there. It looks it's not bad. It's not too close to this one. It's got space there. This will work. That's this. Let's put 17 in here. If we come to another place that needs more than 17 train stations, we're gonna have to figure it out. But we'll get there next episode thank you very much for watching everybody i hope you um get this i hope, I hope this makes sense um if you've got any any questions for it then do leave a comment below if you're not sure and uh, we'll figure it out so um i'll try and explain it and we can figure it out on camera and yeah hopefully it works um i have just realized that i said i don't want these next to each other and then these are going to come up and join here which is it's fine it's fine it's fine it doesn't matter it doesn't really matter um It'll all work, it's just if a train... If a train is blocking uh, here, and a train comes to this point, it will turn down here. Um, and we'll pick things up, but it shouldn't... It shouldn't pick up something it's not filtered to, so, like, it shouldn't pick up... Um, if it comes down here to a grain track, uh, for some reason, 
and the train is a beef train, it won't pick up rain anyway. So we don't have to worry about that. It just means it's taking a detour. So that's fine. And it will return to its proper track anyway. So, so yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again in this one. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>